Hey there ladies and gentlemen, I'm Russell, one of the Four Harms Brothers, and today I'm going to be bringing you Chapter 2 of The Journey Down. If you haven't seen my playthrough of Chapter 1, then there's an annotation just down the bottom there. You can click that to go see that right now. But now we're going to continue where we left off with Juana, Akito and Lena after they just jumped off the edge of the world. So let's see what happened to them. Yes, yes. I already started a previous game and my headphones were broken, so I had to start this all over again. All the sounds from this time. It all sounds okay now. Report, sailor. Oh, we've caught something in the net, Captain. <laughs> Finally. We might not have to starve to death in this blasted mist, after all. All right, let's see what we've caught. Reel it in, Joe! Well, what kind is it? Is it a big one? Can we eat it? It's... It's an airplane. Ah, release the net! Thought we were saved. Scrap salvage is the last thing we need right now. But sir, what if there's food in there? Rations of some sort? Or cake? Maybe it's full of cake. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Reel it in and get your cake. I don't care. Ouch! I told you it was a bad idea to have a farm of cacti in an airplane! <laughs> Don't this my cacti, man. It's not their fault that you landed on them. Well, maybe if you hadn't crashed the airplane, I might have considered not sitting on one. Oh... <sighs> yeah, great landing, Buona. I'm glad you're still alive, so I still have the chance to strangle you! Master Pilot, huh? Uh, Anto? Hello! Funny food. So, let me get this straight. We're simply stuck out here in the mist? I'm afraid so, miss. This ship isn't going anywhere. Without a lighthouse got us, we have no idea where to steer. We're just gonna have to wait it out. If you're lucky, it won't be more than a couple of weeks. I can't believe this. Is there really nothing we can do? Well, if we knew our bearings, I guess that'd be a good start. But we don't. We've always relied on the lighthouse for navigation. Buona, you're a pilot. You have any ideas? What you need, lady? Our bearings. We need to find out in which direction the ship is heading. Ah, no worries, Lena. You can always count on Buona Charters. Great. I'll take this opportunity to catch up on some more reading. Hmm. How the heck am I gonna figure out what direction the ship's going? I don't know, Buona. Let's uh, talk to these people again and see if they have an idea. Joe will probably know. Hey, Joe. What you looking for? I'm trying to catch a glimpse of Port R2. Or another vessel. Or anything that might help us get back to port. But all I see is darkness. And that there buoy, of course. <sighs> We're gonna stay moored to it until the fog leaves, so we don't just keep drifting away. Could be today, could be in a week. Can I help? Well, your lady friend was onto something there. If we somehow can figure out our bearings, we might just have a chance of getting out of this suit on our own. What is this place? You're on board the MS Beacon. An eel trawler lost somewhere in the thick soup and mist, far from its port. So this boat catches eels? Sure. It's the only thing we misters can do. Hunt for eel. Ain't nothing else out in the mist as far as I know. In the darkness. Cold, wet, darkness. Problem now is we can't catch Jack in this thick mist. No eels get stuck in a static net. And we don't dare move in case we drift further away. What is the mist anyways? 
I have no idea. It's just... It's just there. Is there no water down there? I can't hear any waves. Nobody knows what's down there. We're not supposed to ask. If you start asking those kind of questions in the port, we'll get busted in no time. We don't talk about it. But boats just kind of float. And that's all we need to know to catch our ears. So, what happened to the lighthouse? <laughs> Beats me. It worked fine when we left port. And about a week ago, when I woke up from my shift one morning, I couldn't see it. And we've just been aimlessly drifting since. Hmm, fair enough. Catch you later, Joe. Keep wanna, stay your plug. So, the boats float on nothing. That's wonderful. Okay, so it's the buoy. How you feeling, lady? Oh, I'm doing my best to distract the seasickness with this book of yours. And it's actually working. Your father, Kaolin Dodo, was onto something big with this. This book really is an amazing find, and I'm sure we'll be able to reach the Underland with this. I just know it. We need to figure out its meaning before it's too late. Too late for what? Listen, Buona. The thugs who broke into the university and chased us from the Charter are dead serious on covering their tracks. We must get into port and find some answers before they silence every last lead to their dirty operation. Reaching the Underland? Shh, Buona, stop talking so loud about it. Yes, of course we're trying to reach the Underland. That's why we need this book. Something real crooked is going on down there, and I'm hell-bent on finding out what it is. Okay. Thanks, Lena. Let's try going up here. It's locked. Yeah, well. Hey, there's a key inside. Hello? Captain? It's no use. He's fast asleep. Okay. I'm guessing I can't do much up here at the moment. Can't reach it. Nope. So, better go back there. Okay then. It so. says Pico. I guess that's the name of the ship we're on. <laughs> What's this? Don't! <laughs> Those wires are dangerous. Alright, <laughs> you crazy bastard. It doesn't seem to be working. That's probably what the wires are connected to. I can't see anything else in this room at the moment. I guess I gotta fix those wires. Go back down to the plane, see what's there. Speak to Keto. Keto, brother! How you doing, man? I'm okay, Buana. Just a little seasick. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lie here for a while. Of course, man. I've got this covered. Hey, Kito. Hey there, Buana. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves into quite a pickle here. Yeah, man. This boat is going nowhere. How did we wind up in this mess anyways? <laughs> Buana, you already forget, eh? Well... Long story short, we were up to our knees in debt back home in Kingsport Bay. And then, that lady Lena shows up, looking for a book. It turns out we had the book she was looking for. Some old book that belonged to Kono Dodo. Then all of a sudden, she needs to get out of there in a hurry and starts waving money around and... And that's when I convinced you to fix the plane so we could chatter it to her. Right, now I remember. Yeah, and then we got it going, and we were chased by those crazy guys with the Tommy guns. We flew over the edge, ran out of gas, and then fell into the mist. And wound up here, in the net of some kind of weird floating eel trawler. Exactly, Mon. How did she know our father had the book she was looking for? I don't know, Buana. I guess Kono Dodo must have been mixed up in the same stuff as she is. One way or the other, too bad he isn't around to explain these things. I sure miss him. Me too, man. Well, there we go. That was the abridged version of chapter one. Later, Kito. I'm gonna steal your screwdriver. Hey, can I borrow that screwdriver? <laughs> sure, Mon. Knock yourself out. Your Thanks, buddy. No problem, Buana. Go drive them screws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess we won't need our makeshift safety belts anymore. 
but the duct tape might still come in handy. Looky, the compass is still intact. Maybe I can detach it from the instrument panel somehow. Maybe we do. It's Keto screwdriver. All right, let's right click. It's that. Keto screw. No, drag. That's it. Ha ha. I remember that. Perfect. This is probably exactly what Joe needs. Hey, Buana. I thought tinkering with the airplane was my job. No, no. Your job is fixing the airplane after I break it. <laughs> Uh, anything else in her? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Now then, it's a I better give it to you. Yeah, give it to you. Sorry. I remember to drag, not click. We're heading north, northeast. Check it out. Great. Guessing our bearing without the lighthouse to guide us is absolutely impossible. This should definitely help us get to the port. Now, all we need is a map so we can figure out our location. So we still have no idea where we are? I'm afraid so. And with Captain going full barrel on the eel rinse, I'm afraid we can forget asking him for help. Oh, if only we had a map or something. No worries, man. I'll think of something. Mm hmm. Right, let's try the tape on the wires. Last engineering. Okay. Now we should be able to turn the lights on. Light! Beautiful light! Careful slash the wires. Said we have to conserve energy. But he's taking it too far. Oh, this darkness is horrible. He's thinking about all those scary things out in the mist. He's driving me mad! What scary things? Pirates! Bloodthirsty pirates! Not to mention the eels. Small ones are friendly enough, but the big ones. Oh, the big ones. I don't want to think about it. We should look back in Port Archie. There are pirates out there? You're kidding me. You never heard of the Sisulus? Nastiest pirates there are. They bring curse to these mists and to all of us who work it. They heck and slash their way through any vessel they encounter, no matter the flag. Oh, it's a bloody mess when they're done. Stay clear of the Sisulus if you want to keep your body parts. That's all I'm saying, mate. They're a bloodthirsty lot. Yeah, you don't seem to have very much protection on this boat. Eaten by eels? Really? Really? You never heard about the Hungries? I've heard tales of them swallowing entire ships, twice the size of this one. You mean a giant eel could pop up and eat us at any minute now? Well, as long as there's a charge left in our batteries, we should be okay. Legend has it they never come close when you got your lights on. It's what happens when we run out of fuel and everything goes dark that scares me. Tell me about Port Archu. It's the only town down here under St. Armando. As far as I know, at least. It's the home port of most ships work in the mist. Sometimes the fog lifts, but... Most of the time, it's just completely enveloped in a thick, soupy fog. It's no happy place, but it's certainly better than being stuck out here. There's warmth there. <gasps> and food! Wonderful food! Oh, crikey, mate. Oh, it's cracking stuff. See you around. Okay. Hey, look! A loose spring! I'd better take it before it pokes someone's eye out. It's just a sink. I don't really have any use for it. Ah, but you will, Buana. The water coming out of that tap is just about the only thing left to drink on board this ship. We had a couple of bottles of eel rinse too, but I'm pretty sure the captain has finished them all by now. Eel rinse? What's that? It's nasty stuff. Nasty industrial grade stuff. You're not supposed to drink it really, but everybody does. Okay. I'm pretty sure Gimbo wants to keep the light on. No, turn it off. Right, now then. It's a long, bendy metal wire. Great. Um. Man, that's not gonna work. I didn't think it would, but hey, before I give it a try. The only place left is 
this bit. Hmm. We use. No way I can pick the lag with this thing. Okay, okay. Not a bad idea. Uh, but I have to find a way to remove the porthole window first. Ah, okay. Should we go? Let's get this window off. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I think keep the glass there. Oh boy, sometimes I'm so smart, I surprise myself. <laughs> Whee. Hey, it's a navigation book. <laughs> Are you fucked? Pretty much. Hmm. Okay. I'll let you look read all of that. Da -da 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 -da. Interesting. Yeah. We have a more interesting stuff. A Miss Lobster. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Alright. Okay. Mm hmm. More interesting stuff. A uh, map. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Looks like it. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna have to look at that again at some point. It's empty. Okay, for what we think. Looks like he finished a whole bottle of that nasty eel rinse. No wonder he's out cold. Mm. Okay. I'd better leave the sailing bit to the professionals. I'd only take us further into the mist. Okay, okay. Alright then. I guess I gotta give the book to Joe. Is there anything I can think of? Hey, look what I borrowed from the captain's bridge. Hey, that's just what we need. We're ready to pull the rubble, man. <laughs> I could have made the guest. <laughs> that means we're ready to fire up the engines and get out of here. I never thought I'd say this, but it's going to be good getting back in the port. Hey! We have here. The name's Barlow. Police Chief Barlow. You're under arrest. All of you. Arrest? On what charges? Don't try and fool me, Angel. The Journal of the Journey Down doesn't belong to you. Hey, give that back to her! <laughs> I don't think so. You boys gonna spend some time in the can. And you and me, Angel. We're gonna have a little chit-chat. Oh, man. 
man. I wonder what they're gonna do to her. I wonder what they're going to do to us. We thought we were screwed back home in Kingsport Bay. Look at us now. Yeah, we didn't get much of a warm welcome, did we? <laughs> nope. All right, well, we finally got back into port and promptly got thrown in prison. And that's where I'm going to end the episode. And we'll continue this wonderful adventure in the next one. So see you later, everyone. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. That's pretty damn close. Alright, watch out. 